What troubles you, my prince? You are Daemon Targaryen. Rider of Caraxes, wielder of Dark Sister. The king cannot replace you. When the Valyrian Freehold was destroyed, in what is now known as the Doom of Valyria, among the many secrets that were lost, was a method of forging Valyrian steel, a metal so superior that its forging is thought to have required magic, spells, and even dragons. And of its many uses, the most scraped, by far, was the creation of blades. When Aenor Targaryen left Valyria 12 years before the Doom, he relocated House Targaryen with all of its property and its dragons to the island of Dragonstone. And almost a century later, when his descendant Aegon the Conqueror set his eyes on Westeros, he fought through the War of Conquest wielding Blackfire, one of the ancestral swords of House Targaryen made of the coveted Valyrian steel. And while its name matched the black flames of its mount, the Black Dread, the other ancestral sword of his house, Dark Sister, much its wielder. Queen Visenya Targaryen, sister and wife to Aegon the Dragon, when garbed for battle, always wielded the longsword. She was highly skilled in its use, having trained with it since childhood. During the First Dornish War, Visenya used it to slay several assassins from Dorne, once in her own defense, and twice in Aegon's. In one of those occasions, she even drew it and cut his brother's face to prove how slow and lazy the king's defenders were, which led to the creation of the king's guard. When Visenya's son Maegor turned three and ten, she bestowed Dark Sister on him, which he carried for the next twelve years, until his older brother, now King Aenys I, after Aegon's death, gave him their father's sword, Blackfire, and from then on, Dark Sister remained on Dragonstone. After Aenys' sudden death during the conflict with the Fate Militant, Maegor, at the behest of his mother, usurped the throne from Aenys' children and established himself in King's Landing. Queen Visenya kept Alyssa Valerian, the widow of Aenys, and two of her younger children as hostages on Dragonstone. But in the chaos following Visenya's death later that year, Jaehaerys, his sister Alicent, and his mother Alyssa fled the island taking Dark Sister with them. Four years later, at Storm's End, after Roger Baratheon proclaimed Jaehaerys the lawful king, the youth unsheathed Dark Sister and vowed to end the reign of his usurping uncle. Before Maegor's mysterious death on the Iron Throne, and after hearing of his younger brother's claim, Queen Rhaena Targaryen, one of Maegor's black brides, stole Blackfire from a sleeping Maegor and took it to Jaehaerys who, like Maegor before him, would prefer it for his own over Dark Sister. Then, more than four decades into the reign of Jaehaerys I, one of his sons, Aemon, was slain on Tart by Mirish exiles who occupied the eastern part of the island. Balon Targaryen, Aemon's younger brother, flew on Dragonback to Tart to avenge his brother and fought the exiles with Dark Sister. After Aemon's death, Balon was named Prince of Dragonstone and heir to the throne by King Jaehaerys, ahead of Aemon's own daughter and heir, Rhaenys. And after many more years for his prowess, King Jaehaerys gave Dark Sister to Daemon Targaryen, Balon's second son, which he wielded during his war for the Stepstones, using it to kill Kraegas Draehaer. And by the birth of Daenerys Targaryen, almost two centuries later, the blade whereabouts were unknown, wielded at one point before by Prince Aemon Targaryen, the Dragon Knight, the greatest jouster and swordsman of his era, and later by the Targaryen bastard Brynden Rivers, Bloodraven, who is thought to have taken it to the Wall when he joined the Night's Watch, and then beyond the Wall when Bran Stark would one day know him as a three-eyed crow. Like its house, the ancestral sword of the Targaryens shares its uncertain fate, but of the many deeds and crimes committed with it, one of the most epic takes place during the Dance of the Dragons. And I'm inclined to tell you... Balar Dohaerys. <laughs>